This simple self-defense tool could save your life. And in this video, you'll discover how to use the simple self-defense tool, the short stick. This is also known as a tanbo in Japanese or Okinawan martial arts. It's very simple. If you learn how to train with this, a short stick, you can pick up short sticks just about anywhere. You can make a short stick by rolling a magazine up really tightly and holding it tightly. And if you practice these basic self-defense tools, this simple self-defense tool could save your life. Now, we're gonna talk first about what happens when you encounter one of these. The, the bad guy has one of this. these. You don't have anything, but you have something like this either that you brought with you. This will go in a bag or a backpack very easily. This could be in your car. It's not long, like a long self-defense stick, so it wouldn't be perceived as a weapon. You could have it. These also will double as a tire thumper. You could use this for a lot of different things or have a reason to have this with you. A lot of different reasons. This is also about the same size as a drumstick. You could use a drumstick, but having a short self-defense stick, this one is, I think it's about 14 or 16 inches. You can have it a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. Training with this, knowing what to do with this will save your life. Hello, Brandon. Brandon's here. It's good to see you, Brandon. If they have one of these, now I want to get this out of the way first. You're not going to parry. You're not going to strike against it. You're not even going to try to strike the hand that's holding it. You don't want to try to strike and hit a moving target or a smaller target. Think about the easiest, most simple, most effective thing you can do, and that's going to be thrusting, going straight in for the operating system that's controlling this. Uh, Miss Liggins is here. Hello, Miss Liggins. If someone has one of these and you only have one of these, you don't have to use your hands to try to take it away or try to block it. Erdo is here. Um, thank you, Erdo, for being here. It just said just hit the notification and it popped up. But think about thrusting right into the face. That's the first thing that we're going to practice with on the short self-defense stick. So you can defend yourself with a short stick. And if this is all you have, then this is better than nothing. It's a lot better. I'm going to show you why now. Your hands are going to be up. You're going to be in a protective position. Make yourself a smaller target by stepping backward or stepping forward. And the first thing you're always going to practice is this thrusting strike. Now, a thrusting strike with a straight elbow requires that you extend all the way and you turn your shoulders and hips. If you want to accelerate the strike, make it more powerful, take a step as you go through. You have to look at your target or you'll miss it. But you're going to take a step, <clears throat> thrusting straight in. The second strike that I want you to practice using your short stick for self-defense is turning just this way. This simple tool for self-defense can save your life. If he's coming at you, he's a bigger person, or maybe there are multiple attackers, you can thrust to the throat, thrust to the eyes, thrust into the solar plexus, down into the groin, and then swinging your whole body with the arm fully extended will bring this around with so much force, concentrating all of that force on this small tip right here. And if you like to learn how to defend yourself in non-permissive environments, that means places you can't take one of these, you can take one of these or you want to learn how to defend yourself using more simple tools, like this one simple little tool that can save your life, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Good morning, Patrick. Patrick's here, it's good to see you, Patrick. You have a simple thrusting strike. Now the reverse of that, which is why you're gonna hold this here with a little bit coming out the end, is coming back, like a backhand strike. But notice that your whole body is turning. And that means that you're activating the core muscles, the biggest muscles in your body, as you turn and drive the tip of that into his temple or into the fleshy part of his neck or into a rib or between those ribs, even better, or into the, the soft tissue down here or into his hip, into his thigh. Maybe you're sitting in a chair, a wheelchair. Maybe you're waiting for the bus. Maybe you're sitting in a restaurant. You haven't had time to get to your feet. You just jab that wherever you can. So think thrust, swing, thrust, swing. So a swing coming in and a swing coming across the body. Now the third thing that you can do is this flicking motion. Your wrist is really turning as it comes out. This comes from Irish stick fighting, which is a very effective way to defend yourself using a self-defense tool. So bringing this here, you can roll that, snapping that right into the side of his face, into the eye. Um, yeah, Lugo is in Ireland, right? Yeah, Lugo will tell you this is coming straight from Irish stick fighting, this turning, rolling motion, smashing, very fast, very effective. You can remove an eye for self-defense. It's very disorienting. It can slow him down. 
long enough for you to bring another strike, two or three strikes in and defend yourself. So you can defend yourself, save your life with a simple self-defense tool. So you have thrusting, swinging out, swinging in, and snapping, flicking this motion here. And again, all of these can be trained. You train with one of these, just take a broomstick and cut it down or get a drumstick. That's the perfect size. Something simple, something light, something basic. And then you can work with any short stick that you can find in your daily environment. Again, a magazine is a perfect choice. You take that magazine, starting with the pages that open, and you roll it all the way until it gets to the bottom, the spine, and then you hold it very tightly, and you have some very powerful striking surfaces, very powerful uh, striking tool. And the nice thing about a magazine is that the, the cover is usually made of a material, the way it's printed, that it won't slide through your hand. And in fact, this won't slide either. This is just a dowel rod that you get at a do-it-yourself store or a Home Depot here, like a big box, one of those stores. Or like I said, use something that you already have lying around the house, around the apartment, cut down an old broomstick or mop handle, and you've got the perfect tool to practice with, and then put it in your bag, bring it with you, put it in your backpack, Wherever you go, you have some self-defense tools. Um, all right, so from here, we talk about thrust. You've seen your swing out, swing in, rolling here. I want you to now put two hands on it, and using two hands, lower yourself. So change levels, bend your knees, get a little bit lower than him. That's gonna give you the advantage of more balance and more power. It's almost like, think about the springs in a car, the springs on a bus. You're loading the springs and now you're going to unload them you're bending the knees and you're going to come back up with an explosive motion as you move in and into his midsection if you thrust here that stops him strike him in the head here bring it back this way roll it into the face a couple times and then lower your body and bring it up either coming through here if you want to finish the fight that's fatal so uh disclaimer this is self-defense this is not a street fight this is not a bar fight just to defend your life, you have every right to defend yourself, but make sure it's warranted. But you're gonna come up here, stick it right into the solar plexus, knocking his wind out, putting him on the floor. From here, you're gonna keep your two hands on it, and then using two hands, blast straight forward, right into the soft tissue of the face, right into the nose. You wanna ask yourself what you can you remove for self-defense, remove or destroy his ability to breathe, or C, his ability to breathe temporarily, the blood's coming out, the mucus is coming out, he's coughing up, can't breathe, catch his breath, or permanently here through the throat, or down into, yeah, a rounder's bat, perfect, rounder's bat. There are a lot of different tools that are made from, uh, in the, uh, that are the same size as a short stick. But the key is, you can defend yourself with this, save your life with a simple self-defense tool. You're coming here, coming here, and then while you have this leverage, you can bring your elbows in, you can drop your elbows here, you can bring your elbows down, and because you're holding your stick like this, you have more strength, more power in those hands. Singe Man, hello, it's good to see you. This is Sparta, Singe Man says, I love that. Remember, please give me the thumbs up because that helps me grow this channel, helps me grow this uh, virtual dojo that we all belong to. I was talking to someone this morning on the phone, a new client, we were talking specifically about this idea of becoming your own first responder, not because you don't believe the police won't come, but maybe they don't come in time, right? Maybe you're, in this, you're watching the world around us and there's a lot more crisis, a lot more chaos, a lot more desperation, a lot more nervousness. People do crazy things when they're desperate, nervous, hungry. I can't believe how many people are skipping meals or, or can't afford to buy meat, right? I mean, these are real things that are uh, going on. Thank you, Miss Liggins. She said three thumbs up. But just this idea that you need to have a couple of extra skills, a couple of extra simple tools. And this simple tool can save your life if you learn how to train with it. And again, train with this, and then wherever you are, you'll find different versions of a stick. A simple stick is better than nothing, especially when one of these comes out. Now, one more thing to do with this or that I want to talk about, right? The most common attack with one of these. This is something that we now know because there's so many cameras everywhere. Law enforcement has been writing it down. They look at everything that's happening. Self-defense experts in a certain field, the highest level, have determined that this slashing attack 
from here to here is the most common. Like 70 some percent of all attacks come this way. And then we go into thrusts and we go to stabs and all of the other things. Now, this is true of almost any weapon strike or anytime someone swings at you or goes to hit you, you're gonna do one of three, th three things. And we're gonna break that down a little bit, but not too much. You either will freeze or you'll flee, you'll run or you'll fight, right? And we wanna train so that you can respond to what's happening. We wanna to go to fight. And, but it's not common unless you train yourself, unless you have some experience in making a mental switch to go into some type of physical action to defend yourself, you're probably gonna freeze. Most people freeze. If you could run, if you could flee, flee, do that, especially if one of these comes out. If it's multiple attack, if any situation, you, who knows what's gonna happen. You don't wanna hurt him, he doesn't, you don't want him to hurt you. If you can get out of there, get out of there. But if there's no other choice and one of these comes out or they start to try to hit you with another tool or they try to throw punches or whatever, I want you to get your hands up between you and them. And ideally, you're gonna have this one simple tool that can save your life. You're gonna have this up. Now, when you do fight, it's gonna be instinctive. It's instinctive that when you see this coming, most people will recoil. And when you recoil, you're gonna expose all of this soft tissue, all of those uh, tendons, all of the muscle, and then even worse, the veins, the arteries, and they slice that, you'll, you could bleed out before someone can get there to help you and to save you. So instead of recoiling, I want you to go in. And when you go in, the hand that is not holding this tool can go to your head. I want you to put your helmet on. So your hand is just here touching your head. That's gonna brace. But that also means that when this weapon comes out, they're gonna be slicing this, which does not have all of the veins, all of the tendons, all of the arteries. There will be some in there, there will be some muscle, but it's not nearly as bad as this. So you're gonna cover up, put your helmet on, and go forward at the same time using the one uh, simple self-defense tool that could save your life, you're gonna thrust that into his face. Now, if he's swinging like this, and this is coming <laughs> to his face at the same time, his hand isn't coming that far. His body will recoil, he'll have to go back as you either put it here, this could be permanent, this is fatal, it doesn't take much to crush that, or you put it into that solar plexus. But the idea is I want you to train yourself to practice moving into the attack and not moving back. And then you say, well, what if his goal is to do this over and over? And it's, it's gonna be the same thing. You're not gonna have a choice. If you turn and run and he catches you and tackles you and he's doing that anyway, it's going to happen. Instead, I want you to thrust Coming in here, you can start swinging. You can do all of these motions. You can strike with this elbow. That's why this is here. Put this hand here. Start to thrust here. Start to strike here. Do your swinging, slashing attacks this way. Roll that into the face. And you've got to practice this roll motion. And then let me know in the comment section below because this is how this channel grows and this is how I learn from you. Get yourself a short stick, the simple self-defense tool that can save your life, and I want you to go, sl go slowly first. If you haven't done this, don't start snapping like that. You're gonna feel it in here and you're gonna feel it here. But if you go slowly, just a little at a time, and a little bit quicker, and a little bit quicker, and then come back and tell me in the comment section below, how strong does this feel? What would it feel like if you got hit in the face with <laughs> this motion? Would that make, would you keep coming or would that be enough to back you up? And you wouldn't stop with that, right? You might hit him one, two, three times and then come in with the other strikes, drive him off, thrust that through, and finish him off with that. Yeah, Miss Ligon says we don't want any injuries at all while using the short stick. When you train, I don't want you to have any injuries, period, because injuries slow down your training. So everything is slow, medium, fast. Crawl, walk, run or slow is smooth, smooth is fast. That's why we say that over and over. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Always do your first five or 10 reps here, and then do another five or 10, a little bit quicker, and then see what kind of speed and power you can make with that basic motion. Notice that the stick always stays between you and the threat. You guys have been awesome. I will see you in just a little bit. We're gonna do another one of these either today or tomorrow.